This is Control Alt Break from the studios of Greyhead Digital. Catch the trends, news, and all that matters from the world of technology. People here, people there, people everywhere. The question is, why do we still have a huge talent shortage problem? IBM Institute of Business Value recently came up with a study titled Enterprise Guide to Closing the Skills Gap. Skills, as we all know, are on the top of our concerns as we go through the rigor of digital transformation. It is also one of the greatest threats for organizations which, due to shortage of talent, face existential crises. The report highlights that a looming global talent shortage has the power to severely impact individuals and economies worldwide. And the problem will not dissipate. In fact, it's increasing in severity. Welcome to Control Alt Break, your daily podcast from Greyhead Digital on everything from the world of technology. My name is Ashwin Raghunath. Let's dive in. This report is fascinating, as much as it is worrying. 120 million workers in the world's 12 largest economies may need to be retrained or reskilled in the next three years as a result of intelligent AI-enabled innovation. Unpublished data from the 19th IBM Global C-Suite study in 2018 says that CEOs rank investment in people as the top way to accelerate performance. But then again, hiring and training are no longer the only answers to bridge the skills gap. The time it takes to close the skills gap through traditional training has increased by more than 10 times in the past four years, jumping from three days to 36 days. Despite the looming global skills crises, Executives see significant opportunities for their national economies. They remain focused on global business integration and innovation, with more than half seeing potential to increase business value through deeper collaboration with global partners. Other high-ranking opportunities include growing customer spending and being a leader in sustainability efforts. The reality is that these opportunities can't come to fruition without a skilled and talented workforce. What are the key skills that are required and in shortage? Now that's a tricky question, because when we talk of skills shortage, we always relate it to technology or digital skills. However, technology and digital are not the only skills that workforce needs to be trained on. The responses from executives during the IBM survey indicate that workers require a blend of both digital skills and soft skills, you know, behavioral skills, to be successful in the workforce. In 2018, soft skills dominated the top four core competencies global executives sought. Manpower Group in 2018 came up with an interesting report on the impact of talent shortage on employers. According to this report, 45% of organizations can't find the skills they need. For large employers, that percentage is even higher, at 67%. Almost a third of the employers say the main reasons they still can't fill roles is the lack of applicants, while 20% say applicants don't have the necessary expertise. As a result of this skills shortage, most progressive companies are looking at intelligent automation as a solution. Now, this is a vicious cycle now. Almost 60% of executives from the IBM 2018 Global Country Survey say that advances in intelligent automation will expand organization capabilities, and 59% anticipate industry productivity improvements. As a result of this, up to 60 million workers in the world's 12 largest economies, 3.4% of the workforce, might be reduced or redeployed to other roles by employers in the next three years. Looking at this, it seems traditional approaches to skills workforce is not enough. Businesses have to explore new paths. And here are some of the key interventions required. Acquiring talent from outside the organization. Moving talent between business units and divisions. Reskilling employees based on business priorities. Leveraging visa programs to source international talent. Leveraging new and emerging educational programs to enhance employee skills. Implementing skill recognition initiatives to recognize and track skills progression and leveraging talent through ecosystem partners. The skills shortage doesn't show any signs of easing up as of now. C-Suite's executives can start by committing to a modern workforce strategy that places skills at the center, delivers deep visibility into skill positions of both the enterprise and individual employees, personalize skill development at scale, and leverage new partnerships and platforms that integrate data and insights across the employee life cycle. The status quo is not an option and the time is to act now. And that's the IBM report. We're looking to see how you have managed this conundrum. Do you not have this problem at all since you're heading into the AI world? Or are you looking at AI due to the skills problem? We'd love to know. We're listening to you on our LinkedIn channels. 
Look for Dynamic CISO on LinkedIn, follow us and leave us a line. Till tomorrow, this is Ashwin signing off for Control-Alt-Break and Greyhead Digital.